Hi folks, my name is Julia Hilaire. I'm in the fifth grade and I'm a student at Franklin Montessori School. With the help of my garden teacher, Miss McDonald, we're going to tell you about Rochester Roos. Let me introduce you to her. She's really nice. Thank you, Julia. Rochester Roots is a nonprofit organization that turns vacant school land into outdoor garden classrooms. We teach youth how to plant, care for, harvest, and prepare healthy food. School teachers like it too because they can use the garden as their classroom and teach about science, history, insects, plants, life cycles, and more. Thanks for that introduction, Ms. McDonald. I think I see a life cycle coming now. Boy throw the butter out the window. He wanted to see the butterfly. I just love butterflies. They're so silly. Now back to our story. It's time to dig in. We have fun digging in the dirt, and best of all, at the end we got really good food. There's a lot of work to do, but it's still fun. Look, we made our own compost bin. We really got into composting. When spring comes, we all get excited and say, let's get to work. It all starts in the greenhouse with soil. We sift our compost and peat moss and mix it all together with really weird stuff like sea kelp, green sand, and lime. No, not that kind of lime. That goes in the compost. We fill the pots. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Plant the seeds, water, and then we wait. Some seeds we plant right outside. But first, we have to get the soil ready. Phew! This is something that kids of all ages can do. Then we plant the seeds right in the ground. You know the drill. That's right. We water these too. Hey, what are you doing there? You're not good for the garden. Remember those plants we started in the greenhouse? They're big enough now to go out to the garden. All right, team, let's get them in. Listen to it, right? Well, not really. In the summer, we have to keep taking care of our plants. We help them to grow, and we have many people that help us to grow. Our garden manager is Miss O'Rourke. She makes sure everything is planted on time and in the right way. We have volunteers of all ages, grandmas, grandpas, moms, and dads, and some really cool teenagers. I think they have fun too. We do have to pull weeds and more weeds. Boring. But we don't waste the weeds. We throw them into the compost bin. He shoots, he scores. Critters like potato bugs, centipedes, slugs, and worms turn our weeds into compost. What do you have there? What do you have in your hand? A worm. During the summer, we start to pick all sorts of vegetables. Start us off, Jasmine. Peas and um, carrots. Red tomatoes. The onions, green peppers. When school starts in the fall, we're still picking our vegetables. Tomatoes, carrots, onions, and beets. But best of all, we got to take them home and eat them. Have you ever tried a purple carrot, striped tomato, or a white eggplant? We have. They are magically delicious and good for you too. Ever since I started uh, with the Rochester Roots, I've lost about 10, 15 pounds. Some of my friends told me about the cooking classes at Rochester Roots. I love to cook. They can tomatoes, they make pasta, salads, and roasted vegetables. The best days are when they make homemade pizza. Mm-mm. We also get to share the harvest with our friends and neighbors. 
After we wash and package the vegetables, some of them go to the market. Come on down to the South Wedge Farmer's Market and have a taste. Some of the teenagers learn how to sell the vegetables and they get paid while they learn. I can't wait till I'm old enough. Some of our plants are made into our own special products that we also sell. Before we can do that, we need the help of our friends, the bees. They pollinate our flowers, but be careful. Our lip balm and skin salve is made with calendula flowers. Can you say calendula? Now can you spell it? No cheating. Someday I'm going to make a really good teacher. They'll be on your next spelling test class. You are dismissed. Did you know that Rochester Roots makes necklaces from seeds they grow in the garden? They look like this. They are called Job's Tears and are probably the oldest seed beads known. The seed has a tiny natural hole which makes it perfect for stringing our jewelry. We also make recycled baskets from dried plants and old blue jeans. Phew! There's so many things we do at Rochester Roots. But don't just take my word for it. The community garden is a cool place. I like going out to the garden. I want to keep this garden because I want my kids and, and their kids to see it. The garden beautifies our school. And it's for people like for you and me. Thank you. Well, I think that covers it all. Signing off for Rochester Roots, this is Julia Hilaire, wishing you all peas on earth. Now back to you, Miss McDonald. Great job, Julia. I see you've learned a lot from working in the garden. You can see that creating healthy gardens takes a lot of teamwork, and our community is healthier too. Every winter we make plans for the next growing season. So much of our planning depends on the support that Rochester Roots receives from the public. With the time, talent, and funding provided by our supporters, we can make sure our gardens and youth grow well into the future. Give generously. Our community and our children are worth it. Well, I rode that ribbon highway. I saw above me the endless skyway. I saw below me the golden valley. Well, this land was made for you and me. This land is yours.